Hello, my name is Dan Perry, and today's tips and tricks video is going to be on the Create Bound and Solid command, which is only one of several really handy updates that have been made to the Esprit 2016 Accessories Pack. The Esprit installation enables the Accessories Toolbar by default, but if for some reason yours is turned off, you can always turn it back on by going under the Tools, Add-in, and then clicking Accessories Add-in, and Load, and Load on Startup if you choose to do so. The Create Bounding Solid command is part of the Solid Properties accessory, which can be accessed by first selecting the model, and then clicking on the Solids tab from within the Project Manager. Once the Solid Properties window is active, a right-click from anywhere within this window will present you with the following menu. The Create Bounding Box command is actually not new to the Esprit 2016 Accessories Pack, however it has had a slight update made to it. Whereas before this command would only create geometry on the outer limits of the box itself, now if we click this command, we get that geometry, but we also get a point in the center of all six faces, as well as in the center of the box itself. Now if you choose to not have a spree result in this behavior, you can always choose to turn it off, which is located also on the right-click menu from within the Solid Properties window, under the Options, simply by setting Create Side Centers to False. The Create Bounding Solid command is similar to the Create Bounding Box command, which is also located on the right-click menu of the Solid Properties add-in, but instead of creating geometry for the bounding box, it's going to create an actual solid. Once I click the Create Bounding Box command, I'm presented with a transparent preview of the solid that's going to be created around my part, as well as a dialog box that shows me the dimensions of the bounding box itself, and also gives me control for adding material to certain sides of the part. There are several options available for adding material to different sides of the part. I'm going to choose the Per Side method, so that I can add some material in the X negative, X positive, and Z positive sides of my part. And you can see as I'm adding these dimensions, my block is automatically updating. There's also a checkbox for add simulation stock. This option will use the bounding box to automatically create stock within the simulation parameters. This concludes today's tip video. We hope that you find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for more tips and tricks.